In Palestine, the Israeli siege continues. To date, more than 4,460 Palestinians have been killed in the Gaza Strip and the West Bank. The Palestinian Health Ministry reported that 4,385 people died in the Gaza Strip and more than 14,000 injured since the beginning of the aggression on October 7th. Meanwhile, in the West Bank, Israeli forces killed 84 Palestinians and wounded more than 1,400. 70 percent of the dead are children, women and the elderly. The health ministry warned that these figures could multiply in the coming hours as the relentless Israeli attacks continue and as bodies are pulled from under the rubble of their destroyed homes. According to local media, during their ongoing bombardment of the Gaza Strip, the Israeli occupying forces completely destroyed more than 14,000 homes, while another 133,370 were partially damaged, including 10,127, which are no longer fit for living. The destruction of 5,500 residential buildings, including 14,200 apartments, was also reported. Among the affected infrastructure are also dozens of service facilities and 160 schools. Also, the number of mosques completely destroyed by the occupation amounted to more than 17. On early Saturday, at least 30 people, including three children, were killed in Israeli bombings. Local sources say that the bombings targeted several areas in Rafa, south of the Gaza Strip. Also in Rafa, six members of the civil defense team were seriously wounded as a result of Israeli shelling on a civil defense headquarters. On Saturday, the Rafa crossing, the border crossing between Gaza and Egypt, through which humanitarian aid can be delivered to the Israeli-occupied Palestinian enclave, was open. Some 20 trucks carrying food and medical supplies, among other cargo, began passing through the crossing. The humanitarian aid will be handed over to representatives of the Egyptian Red Crescent for distribution to civilians in the Gaza Strip affected by the Israeli bombardment. However, a CNN correspondent on the Egyptian side of the border the Rafah crossing was closed shortly after 20 vehicles filled with humanitarian aid for Palestinian civilians passed through. Egypt's president Abdel Fattah el-Sisi said his country did not close the crossing but that the Israeli shelling hindered the entry of aid into Gaza. At the same time, al Arabiya sources reported that Egyptian U.S. coordination are underway to evacuate foreign nationals from Gaza to Egypt through Rafah. 